In this video, we wanted to explain the workflow bar of LAS. The workflow bar appears across the top of the, the screen and allows immediate access to the most important functions within LAS. Let's look at each of these five steps in turn and just give an overview as to each one of them will do. If we start with the setup, the setup is important because this allows us to ensure that the microscope configuration is correctly entered into the software. In this case, the type of microscope has been detected automatically as an M165C. But the type of camera adapter and the main objective are not detected automatically. These are not coded features and therefore we need to make sure that these are selected according to the item that is actually being used. In this case we've got a video objective with a 0 0.8 times magnification. Normally this is set up just once and this panel can be completely hidden so that the operator doesn't need to see it in the future. The next step that we've already seen in several videos is the acquire step and here we can make adjustments to the microscope and to the camera you notice that while the microscope and the camera controls do appear on, on different panels, in fact, we can move one of the panels from the microscope tab to one side so that we can now also see that at the same time as we see the camera. The next step along is called browse. Browse is where we show the uh, the gallery which shows all the images that are in the currently selected folder so we have the Leica lab folder selected the gallery shows the images in the folder and to the right of that we see a single selected image so the purpose of browse is to enable you to find your images and to look at them in detail the next step along is the process step. This comprises two main functions. One of them is called enhance and this allows you to make adjustments to the uh, the contrast and the the color of the image post capture. So this is applies after the camera has already processed the image. And the second area here is called annotate where we can get direct an access to the various annotation functions and we'll talk about annotation in a video as well. The final step is called analysis and analysis is where we make the uh, selection between interactive measurements or manual measurements and automatic measurements or image analysis. So these are both optional facilities which are not installed with LES core but all the analysis capability is provided on these tabs and we'll describe each of these in videos that will, will follow.